Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> yes, you guessed it. And I waited for this moment. Good Burger, officially on Blu-ray for the first time in 24 years. <laughs> Finally, I waited this long to demand this, and now... They listen to us. Because Paramount uh, had finally started to get their act together with their home video department ever since both Viacom and CBS had merged together in 2019. And now we're getting ready for more physical media titles that we've been waiting for. Because they did launch their label, Paramount Presents. And they're getting 4Ks, Ultra HDs for all the other Kellogg titles as we know of. All the popular hits, uh, including the ones that Eddie Murphy put out, like Beverly Hills Cop, uh, as well as um, uh, Coming to America. But we also got Trading Places to join in, and The Golden Child and all. But then we got more titles to follow, like... I never thought we would get uh, some more John Hughes uh, films, like Pretty in Pink, for instance, and and even some kind of Wonderful. And then we had other films like She's the Man, and even some of the other ones that were out of print for a while, but they're being re-released again and being part of it, getting digital codes to join in, everything. A lot of packaging for a lot of movies, and I was really thrilled. Um, and I'm even happy that even the other titles that they've been re-released from other uh, studios like Lionsgate and even Warner Bros. They've been repackaged and re-released or they just released them themselves. Um, probably using the same transfers before, only updated it more so. But I never thought this would happen. But yes, um, but back to Good Burger. Yes, this, this is the cover art uh, based on the movie poster which is right here <clears throat> for the DVD that I have for a very long time signed by Kill Mitchell himself and yeah you can see how identical these two are <laughs> I can't believe it really happy and thrilled and yeah you can see the back and right there very similar um, just gonna open it up oh, see if I can do it yeah, your typical Eagle Box case that they use, but they have the the blue cover arts, but it has the title sequence in that. And it's a shame because I wish they used the artwork just like the DVD did. But hey, figures can't be choosers. That's how typical it is. Uh, it does contain a special feature, and only one special feature, sadly, and it's the original Good Burger sketch from All That, because we all know how popular All That was. I mean, they started um, premiering as the original pilot episode after the Kids' Choice Awards. And not only that, it wasn't too long until Nickelodeon finally picked this up, but they only had premiered it in early January of 95, you know, after Nickelodeon was already premiering, you know, their other shows like the first African American sitcom, My Brother and Me, and Roundhouse was already lasting for its final season, especially after the death of uh, Dominic Lucino, you know, because of HIV. So they had to continue to go on before all that um, finally took its place. And of course we had the Secret World of Alex Mack joining in too. It's, it's a pretty big um, SNCC uh, <laughs> lineup right there as they were going for. And also because um, this was going to be their first uh, Saturday Night Live um, type of sketch comedy for kids, but also for teenagers and some adults too. I mean, yeah, they can get some of the jokes because there's a bit of adult humor in there. You know, all created by Brian Robbins, Mike Tolan, and Dan Schneider to join. <laughs> but it brought in the, the popularity of Keen the Kill, you know, after their spinoff that they launched too. Yeah, Keenan and Kill, but I know Keenan Thompson just got to start with D2 The Mighty Ducks, uh, followed by Heavyweights, which is my favorite of them all. You know, Kill Mitchell, 
you know, already, you know, launching with his uh, rap career, you know, before, you know, he's been known, well, he is Christian too, so he's, he's believing in faith and all. So, that's where they got their first movie together. You know, after their popular sketch, you know, there's like so many sketches of Good Burger on all that, that's the most popular one of them all. And who would have thought that they would actually launch into a feature-length film? So, yeah. So, you know the history. Because this was the movie I went to see in theaters. I've been excited for this, you know, ever since they announced it. And I wanted to see it so bad that I ended up seeing it at the Igora Plaza that was operated by Pacific Theaters, yeah, which is now gone, sadly. Yeah, the theater that um, owns the, the Americana... Yeah, the Glen No. 18 feeder, along with all the other feeders, including the Cinerama Dome with Art Light. Yeah, shame. Uh, I miss that feeder, but I hope they, they have another feeder operator to take over. You know, like Cinemark, AMC, Rego, maybe even Regency, too. Who knows? Aside from, you know, a streaming site like Netflix or Amazon or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens. I mean, because now that all the feeders are being reopened again, you know, due to the the pandemic, and, and I know already with the vaccine launching and everything, everyone's going to get better. But people are still wearing masks and following the social distancing six feet apart. But it'll get better, though. Don't worry. Everything will get better. It'll go back to normal as long as everything thrives, for sure. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um... But the, it was just a four-minute sketch. It, it was very funny. It's still funny even to this day. And it's nice to see it, too. Um, as for the transfer, though, yes. It's incredibly stunning. Very solid. Um, I was amazed to see more details in the film than ever before. It's based on the old HD master that came out during the, the 2000s and I think 2010s, too which had been launched on every cable network and streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime. So yes, it's based upon that. And they even put it on Pluto TV and Tubi TV for the matter. But by comparison, this transfer blows everything out of the way, including the DVD from 2003 that I have. But still, I love to have that because at least the packaging is excellent compared to this. But I still love to have it because it's a significant upgrade to all of them. And I wanted to see this in high definition the way it was meant to be. Uh, you got a lot of grain structure in there too uh, during those certain parts. But for the most part, it's clean. It's almost as solid as Heavyweights was too when they got launched on Blu-ray. And it was excellent. And plus you get tons of features on that. But unfortunately, I do wish this movie had a lot of features. And... And we're going to get to that too, but let's get back to the transfer and the sound quality. Um, like, yeah, I get to see more details of from the beginning where, you know, during the dream sequence that Ed had, and that's where you get to see the the Good Burger puppets floating around, done by the Chiquito, the Chiquito brothers, you know, the ones uh, that created Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, it was perfectly detailed. Uh, it has some voice acting joining in, including Dan Schneider doing it, too. That was really cool. And I was surprised I got to see more details on the background of the menu, uh, like the Coca-Cola <clears throat> sign, and they had uh, all the menus of, of all the foods that they have available. I was, like, so amazed to see how much detail they had. Uh, and even the scene where Ed actually falls all the way down into this giant hole, I was like, my God, I, I can't believe I can actually see so much detail in there and, and, and how incredibly close in there <laughs> how he falls all the way down and it's amazing and then and even the chase scene too um, there's you can see a lot of incredible detail with uh, with the street signs around and all these other places uh, the, the also the you get to see the um, a, a lot of detail on the Tarampa Fall uh, can, like I, I never know it, it can actually say Tarampa Fall on there too, and, and and all these other tiny lines, and 
Yeah, because you couldn't see that uh, on the DVD. It looked like it was a little, you know, a little blurry, though. Like, maybe a little um, smoother and blurry. I couldn't even read it much. I think that's probably how I saw it, too, when I went to see it in theaters, because I saw it at the Igor Plaza, as, as I mentioned. I mean, because it was a... It wasn't a rough print, but it was basically what... I, I actually saw the film the way it was played, even with the Adobe Stereo, uh, and and all. <laughs> oh, okay, and, and back to the sound quality. Yes, it's uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, could have been 7.1, but hey, that could be even more louder. And I watched this on a 4K player, my, my Sony 4K Ultra HD player. Um, aside from the picture quality, the sound was just incredible. It was very loud, too. I mean, yeah, especially uh, the scene with uh, the Mondo Burger Kitchen. Yeah, the, the climax where everything was all in destruction. Uh, you know, a lot of explosions, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, chaos happening around. I mean, it, it was falling apart, you know, coming from the kitchen. Because, you know, Ed accidentally drop all the trampa fall into the meat grinder and and that's where it, it creates all these huge meat patties and explodes really loud and all these explosions the glass shattering too when when the the rest of the the patrons started to escape and it was like wow and of course <laughs> one of the the burgers that came directly from the roof actually fell directly into the car of uh, Mr. Reed. That <laughs> oh, that was just hilarious. Um, yeah, it was very loud. I mean, I had to turn it up and try to turn it down a little bit because it, it was starting to <laughs> almost shattered my room a little. Bit. Well, not really, but it just it was like way too loud, <laughs> but perfect, top notch audio. I love that. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a bit disappointing, though. I wish the Blu ray had more features. I really do. Because you gotta know something. Before this movie came out, uh, back in 97, like, I think they started hyping this uh, around, like, maybe in January. They launched the teaser trailer. It was also on the VHS tape of Rugrats and other Nickelodeon stuff. And they knew they were going to get ready for their new feature-length film of their own. And, yeah, Nick Odin had hyped this up like crazy. I mean, they, they put a lot of TV spots around. They, they put a lot of information on fast food burger joints, you know, competitions and all this other stuff. And then they were getting ready for the world premiere at the local screening in Hollywood, I think. Um, so that way, you know, all the guests will join in, all the actors, even the Nickelodeon stars to join, you know, like, you know, like, um, Joss Server, Amanda Bynes, uh, Alicia Rice, uh, Katrina Johnson. I'm not so sure if Angelique Bates was invited, but nevertheless, if, uh, all the other cast and crew went, they, they got to see it, you know, everyone got all the merchandising from the movie, too, I mean, they even got the t-shirts, Probably their collectibles. I mean, maybe they had some of this other stuff they created. You know, they had the soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, of course, because I know Kill Mitchell has done his own rapping. You know, he's done a lot of that too. You know, Kean Thompson, of course, has his launch as a career for, for acting. And a whole lot more. They had a behind the scenes featurette. They had trailers and TV spots around as I mentioned um, all of which could have been on this blu-ray they could have also had the best of all because I know the trailers did have a few deleted scenes including the the good shake scene you know when when this one customer came by and he wanted a good shake and Ed just shakes him out that could have been in the movie. I can't believe it. And and the fact is, all those deleted scenes, maybe they could have had a blooper reel and all those other ones too. Maybe they could have had a new commentary from the actors themselves. Yes, even if it was done in 2020, 
Now, due to the pandemic, yeah, I can I could settle for a a blog uh, type because everyone else is doing it. Hell, they could have put a music video on this too. There was actually uh, a couple music videos that was also on the soundtrack too. Aside from George Clinton and all, you know, they had the the song uh, "All I Want" by 702, and then they even have the song, of course, by <laughs> Less Than Jake joining in with Kel Mitchell, with Keenan Thompson joining in too, of uh, "We're All Dudes," and yeah, that would have been awesome to see that too on a Blu-ray. All of that effort could have been on this release alone. This would have been a perfect special edition. And they could have also had done, maybe they could have put a soundtrack included as a bonus. It would have been a two to set. would have been perfect for this. So, I know. But Paramount did what they could, so, I, you know, I'm not complaining. I mean, I would complain about not having all the features, though, but if that's what I had to deal with, then I might as well just have to get, or maybe just create my own uh, special features disc um, for DVD, I guess, uh, for the Blu-ray and DVD alone, and just live with it. I know they try to joke uh, other uh, <laughs> home video enthusiasts um, around, you know, thinking that they were going to put this on Criterion Collection. And even for the Nickelodeon fans around, they thought, oh, this would be cool. But no, that, that'll that never happen. I wish they did, though, but that's never going to happen. I mean, if, hell, if, if Shout Factory was just doing something like that, that would be awesome. Because they'd be much better. But, again, that depends. <laughs> but for what it is, though, I'm glad it came out. I was happy. I was so lucky. I had to get this on Amazon for only $9.99. That was a sweet deal. I don't even know why we can't even get this in retail, though. I couldn't find this at Best Buy, nor uh, Target, uh, Walmart. I'm not so sure Barnes & Noble has it, but I couldn't see this anywhere. So this was the only way I can get it. And I think that sucks, because this is not a made-on-the-man release. I mean, we're already having dealing with what's going on with uh, Warner um, Archive, since they've been releasing tons of catalog titles, but now they're going through... A major rumor, but you know that's why I don't believe it, and all this other stuff going around too. <laughs> but I, I hope that's not going to be the case because I don't want this to suffer. I mean, Paramount has suffered a lot too when it comes to physical media, and I hope they continue to go on and thrive because they really are listening to us. Um, they're now releasing all the Miramax titles too, uh, because Viacom CBS had bought them, and now they're going to release even more catalog titles for them. I mean, I can't believe Rat Race is coming out already. That's coming out on my sister's birthday. But best of all, uh, Rock Rats, the complete series, is going to be out on DVD for the first time since they released the first four seasons because they're keeping up with re-releasing all the Nickelodeon shows that Shout Factory had put out and so is Amazon Burn on Demand with Create Space. So now they're keeping up the pace here and of course even with their streaming and all and even with their new Paramount Plus streaming service um, okay and all those other ones but um, we're finally gonna get the Snoopy collection on blu-ray with the already the first two films being previously released to join in but we're gonna get Race for Your Life Charlie Brown and Bon Voyage Charlie Brown Don't Come Back uh, with digital codes included so I can't wait to get that one and that's coming out next week, uh, along with Rock Rats, the complete series, among others. But now that we finally got um, Good Burger on Blu-ray for the first time, and I know we finally got all the other uh, movies, too, to join in from Paramount, even the DreamWorks titles like Mouse Hunt, which had a 4K remaster putting into it, some excellent transfer with Small Soldiers and other ones. Wow, it's, they just keep on thriving and going. I hope we get more Nickelodeon titles. The earlier ones, uh, such as Harriet the Spy, we definitely need that. Along with Snow Day. And all three of the Rugrats movies. Yeah, The first one being the Rugrats movie. Second being Rugrats in Paris. And third, Rugrats Go Wild. Which, of course, um, the Rugrats teamed up with the Wild Thornberries. Even the Wild Thornberries, too. That needs to be released. Uh, their, their movie, and 
along with Hey Arnold the movie, along with their sequel, The Jungle Movie. You know, I can't believe that wasn't on Blu-ray either. And I, I also hope they, they do release Clock Stoppers and, and maybe a few others, but otherwise that's it. Because they did release all the other Nickelodeon films uh, already. Um, during the early, the I would say the late 2000s, early 2010s, yeah, right there. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> keep this up, Paramount. This is why we need more Blu-rays and 4Ks for these titles alone. And and even if we don't have features, that's okay. I, I can live with it. Now, I know, I know, you know, there are lovers and there are haters, okay? The haters can go straight to the grinder, like like Doug Rocker, a.k.a. Nostalgia Critic, Matt Roller. But don't worry, though, I, I respect his opinion. I'm still friends with him, and I'll keep it that way, a.k.a. Ramoret for Life. And I know his friend, Mike Brown, which I'm friends with him, too, a.k.a. OCP Communications, and not care much. But he loves all that. I know Double Toasted review this too, and, and they crap on it. And, ugh, horrible review. But you know what? I don't care because I defended this movie last year when I did my video. You know, I've done several videos on this movie, and I love it. And I don't give a crap about what anybody says. Because otherwise, you know, for fans like me and everyone else, all Nickelodeon fans, 80s and 90s fans and everyone else around appreciate it so it's not meant to take itself too seriously this is a harmless kids flick you know it's meant to be funny it's supposed to be funny and it is funny better than today's comedies that we have right now okay I mean not everything has to be you know an R-rated comedy or any other kind or any political stuff so this is not in there I mean they're just joking around and don't call names on Ed, okay? He may be dim-witted, not too bright, but he's still a funny character, and he's awesome. And yes, I mean, he can be smart sometimes, too, especially during the climax. <laughs> but don't worry, I respect all their opinions, okay? You know, if they love it or hate it, that's fine, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You know, the world will be a better place, as far as we concern, okay? I mean, I know Matt Roller can be crazy sometimes, but he's actually a cool guy. I mean, I think he's gone way too far with so many Patreon requests. I mean, he's like posting it every single day, and it's too much. Okay, and I, I wish he would take a break once in a while, or maybe, maybe a few days. I mean, he needs some. Come on. I mean, it, it, this is not the Guinness Book of Records right here. I don't know why he's doing this, but... I was just hoping maybe it's because he was having money problems or something. But he can actually afford a, a new place if, if he was going to make tons of money. But hey, you know, at least he's getting better with some of those videos he's doing. Uh, even if he is reviewing some really sh crappy movies that I don't care for. Yeah, but whatever. I mean, nobody's perfect. I mean, you all don't want to end up being like Kirk, okay, in the movie because... That's exactly what you guys are. You know, s screw Mundo Burger. Long live Good Burger. That's for sure. Anyway, pick this up at Amazon when you get a chance, or maybe some other place if they have it, and you'll be thrilled with it. Especially with this awesome video quality transfer and this awesome and this incredible sound quality of DTS HD bands. It's not Atmos, though, you know, Dolby Atmos, but that's okay. It's better that way for most. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.